I came to the stem cell talks last year and when I was observing all the fantastic scientists, professors and all the representatives on, this, on the stage, their enthusiasm and their mental quality strikes me. I have been admiring scientists since I was four years old. And now it's time to uh, achieve my dream by taking the small steps, by taking it from the foundation. So I come here to build a foundation for my future research career. My teacher told me that it was about diabetes and I know so many people with diabetes and I just thought about how much it could help the people I know, the people I will be able to help in the future and everyone that has diabetes right now and how much stem cells could potentially cure that um, problem that they're having and it just seemed so interesting to me to be able to help people and just learn more about something that could potentially help everyone. I wanted to come to stem cell talks because I've always really been into biology in my school and I've actually applied to a bunch of universities for biotechnology and particularly this one was interesting because diabetes runs in my family, both my grandfathers have it and I don't know if that puts me at more risk but I learned all about that today. Prior to this I did have some knowledge of stem cells but I wanted to build on that but that's not the only reason. I also wanted to see how people approach the issue of stem cell technology, the stem cell ethics and um, what really excited me when I came here during the debates was how people had so much varying opinions. And of course, like I appreciate that sort of discourse because it's best to have multiple ideas, multiple opinions combined together instead of just being dogmatic, having just one thing. Because then again, um, I'd like to have a career in medicine or, bio, or in bio, and I'd like to know what other people think, and how other people think in different in different ways and in different fields. So I'd like to, so that's what I'd like to see. I want to have some sort of bird's eye view of what bio looks like or med looks like. When I heard about the stem cell talks program, I got very excited and I asked my teachers if I could go and then they nominated me and that's basically why. I'm really interested in stem cell development and I think it's a great field to look at. The coolest thing I learned so far is about the fact that we can build semi-permeable membranes, as they say is tea bag, to contain the living cells inside the human body so that it can, it can produce insulin and secrete it into the blood but the immune cells can't get in to attack the cells which ultimately prevents the newly transplanted cell being attacked and being destroyed by the immune system. Today I feel like other than the actual stem cell idea, I learned that there's no right answer, there's no wrong answer. I learned that there are just multiple options that you have. If one doesn't work, you have another one until the other one works. And there are just so many answers that you can choose from and there's never, never a right answer or a wrong answer. And it's just the world is full of infinity, inf infinite options that you can just choose from. And depending on the case that you have or the problem that you have, you can choose from the unlimited answers that there are available in the world. And there are no right answers or wrong answers. The coolest thing I've learned so far today is probably how embryonic stem cells are harvested. Because I, like I'm sure a lot of other people, uh, didn't fully understand it, which is probably why it's an ethical concern because people just hear embryo and instantly think, oh, they're killing babies. But when I learned it was actually from a more early stage in uh, embryonic development, I found that really interesting. In a general sense that there's multiple ways to approach one thing. And for example, in the last debate, we've seen two people debating whether if we should use pads to deliver insulin or whether instead we should use our own induced pluripotent stem cells to actually deliver the insulin to us. And it's funny because um, the person who was recommending the pads had no prior knowledge to um, cell biology or whatsoever, but still nonetheless, they could have a good discourse. They could still share very significant opinions because they were both thinking from different sides of the hemisphere. I think the coolest thing I've learned so far is about the total immune system wipeout and where you completely destroy the immune system and replace it. And I know that that can be done usually through chemotherapy, but that's usually just for getting a really low white blood cell count. So I love to look into that more and something else that I'm really interested in is if there's any possible way to make that not so hard on the patient if there's another way where the patient could naturally regenerate an immune system that is 
better suited for their condition. As scientists, we need to be responsible for the future of the entire human race. And through practicing science, we make the future. That is the amazing point of science. To my dear audience, I recommend all of you to participate in the 2016 Stem Cell Talks. It's a great experience and you will benefit from it. Science matters to me because I believe that without science, without research, there wouldn't be a world. It, it just wouldn't make sense to you. Just like 2 plus 2 equals 4, that 4 makes sense to you. Science makes sense of the world and what goes on around you, what goes on inside your body, what goes on anywhere near you. And I just believe that just learning more about the world around you just makes you feel alive. It's always been something I've been particularly interested in because it's answering bigger questions than just how many apples are you holding in your hand? It's answering questions like, how did everything come to be? Why do things work the way they do? And so I find science is just the answer. And well, it's not answered yet. It's never going to be answered until we figure out literally everything about the universe. But it's going to be something that I can always keep asking questions and there's always going to be more to do. Science matters because it's how we interpret the world, really. I guess it's how we interpret the world in a very rationalist um, perspective. And of course, it's important because everything, it explains how everything, I guess, happens, how, like, what a relationship with nature, or I guess even this building, or, or with our own bodies is. And it helps us sort of navigate around, I guess, the universe, and it's, that's why it's so important for me. Science matters to me because it matters to everybody, and it matters for the sake of this world, and I love science. I've always loved science. I've always wanted to go into medicine since I was very young, because it's something that I think is ever-shifting and ever-changing, and you can never stop learning, which is something that's very important to me.